Tech Nerdist channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Welcome, folks. I am Tech Nerdist, and this is Prusa Slicer's newly available Alpha version 2.3. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button to become a Technivore now, and turn on notifications for future videos. Thanks, guys. And now on to Prusa Slicer 2.3. Yes, as I said, this is an alpha, meaning it's not the full release version, and it probably still has a few bugs in it. However, don't click away just yet. I want to show you some very promising new features, as well as one that may make me a Prusa Slicer fanboy from now on. That's right, Sergeant Kill, this one's for you. We'll get to that in a minute, but first, new features. Okay, let's be honest, the super bulky supports I'm used to and Prusa Slicer throwing on my model are kind of a pain, or at least they were. Now those days are a thing of the past. With the new tool for painting support blockers, uh, that's right, painting, you can get Prusa to put support only where you want it. The painting mechanic works nicely and applies color directly to your model to show you where you're adding or blocking support. Supported areas are marked by clicking the left mouse button and are shown in blue, while blocked areas are marked by clicking the right mouse button and are shown in red. Once marked, all you have to do is make a support selection select for enforcers only and that looks just about right well, let's take a look what happens if we had used the auto generated support method yep that's quite a big difference this is a great addition to Prusa Slicer and the paint mechanic works extremely well for applying support where you want it to meet the model speaking of the paint mechanic there's also another new tool and it utilizes the same method as the support blockers this is the seam tool Similar to the support tool, you can left or right click respectively to designate where you do or do not want to place the seam. But wait, there's more. That's right, it slices, it dices, it has monotonic infill? The hell is that? Well, first things first, it's not really infill per se, but rather an ironing pattern for top layers. It's best illustrated by this side-by-side -side from the official Prusa site, and you can see the side-by-side -side difference pretty neat if you don't plan on doing any finishing of your model and then as a bonus there's a new standalone g-code viewer you can open as many instances as your PC can handle and check it out there's a couple different models and lastly though and the real reason that you may catch me on Prusa Slicer more often are its MSLA options so I mean need I say more I've recently been getting into resin printing and if I can do away with Kira and Chidubox and use one piece of software instead, reliably, I'm sold. I won't get into that, that here, but if you're interested in seeing more, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. Well, that's it guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers and so far I am just about to hit. 5,000 so uh, it'll be a little while a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel But they are available now. I have a couple other designs Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site Definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future So we appreciate all your support Don't forget to check out the Teespring link check out our patreon link Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.